On this week's episode of Bayou Wild TV, no boat, no problem. Whether on your own or with a professional guide, there's plenty of opportunity to get on the water and experience fishing without the financial commitment of owning a boat. We share a few avenues to enjoying Louisiana's outdoors, no matter if you're an avid fisherman or are willing to learn first time. It's something we've never done before. Uh, it's something that's part of the culture, uh, and the heritage of the area that we now have chosen to live in. Every day, we strive to preserve traditions that have spanned generations. Around every turn of the bayou, Mother Nature reveals unique people, places, and experiences. And the bounty of animals and fish. Well, in Louisiana, we just call that land yak. I'm Don Dubuque. I'm Chris Lacop. I'm Captain Martha Spencer. Join us as we document the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. Located in southern Jefferson Parish, Grand Isle is considered one of Louisiana's most popular coastal fishing destinations. Nearby, Elmer's Island Refuge features saltwater marsh, coastal dunes, and beaches. The refuge property spans over a thousand acres and it includes a tidal zone, natural and restored dunes, and an expansive open area leading to Back Bay an area surrounded by mangrove and saltwater marsh habitat. It is also the site of the Kamenata Headland Beach and Dune Restoration Project, one of the state's largest coastal restoration efforts. What a beautiful day to celebrate, and you know, we. We've had a tough year in Louisiana and celebrations have been too few and too far between, but this really is a cause worthy of celebrating. We were able to fly over a few months ago uh, while some of the work was still going on here. And I can tell you, this is more impressive uh, from the ground than it was from the air. What we see today is the power of coastal restoration to deliver multiple benefits to the people of Louisiana, to the environment, and to our economy. Having this uh, coming out of the Headlands Restoration Project is vitally important to Port Fouchon on both the industrial side for the services that we provide to the oil and gas industry, but also on the uh, recreational and commercial fishing side. It's uh, very important for us to, to maintain our footprint here in uh, coastal Louisiana, and uh, projects like this go a long way to do that. The restored beaches, dunes, and marsh of this area provide much needed protection. The added protection benefits birds, fish, and wildlife, attracting outdoors men and women from across the country to enjoy its bounty. When you're in Grand Isle at Elmer's Island, no boat, no problem. Coming up on Bayou Isle. Closed captioning made possible by Explore Kayak Adventure Company. Fishing, sightseeing to photography tours, everything to make your paddling adventure happen. See Explore Kayak Adventure Company on Facebook and Instagram. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Courtney Hammonds on behalf of the Louisiana Propane Dealers. I've spent hundreds of hours practicing piano. That preparation paid off when I won a couple of talent awards and the title of Miss Louisiana. The Louisiana Propane Dealers are also pretty talented and want you to be prepared for when the power goes out. Visit louisianapropane.com to find out about propane generators and other safety tips. Louisiana Propane, it truly is a fuel for our future.
Today we made a trip down to Elmer's Island, which is really one of Louisiana's treasures. This is one of the few stretches of beach that's open to the public. It's got a good hard bottom and offers some really great fishing, crabbing. You can have a blast down here, doing a lot of things. Today the weather was absolutely beautiful. Once we got out here, I mean, it was it was pretty much first cast in when we, we were catching. Surf fishing is a lot different from fishing from a boat. Naturally, you're wading out in the surf. One thing about it, on hot days, you, you stay pretty cool because you're in the water. Uh, and with time, you can learn to, to read the waters, lead, read the bait. Now, fishing down here on days when the weather's good, holidays, weekends, and even the weekdays, you're liable to find a crowd out here. In fact, when you look down the shoreline sometimes, it reminds me a lot of what we saw at the Castle Off River, fishing out there in Alaska. Yeah, we're out here subsistence fishing, uh, dip net and reds. Well, here at the Castle Off River, this is almost like a festival atmosphere out here with this dip net. Super laid back here. I could see Louisiana having a really good time with this. You know, some days, especially on the weekends, it could be extremely packed out here. So you want to get out here earlier. The earliest that you can get actually on the island is a half an hour before official sunrise. So we usually like to get here right at a half an hour before official sunrise. And it'll take you, depending on where you're going, anywhere to 20 to 30 minutes to walk down. All right, we're down here at Elmer's Island, fishing the surf, picking up some speckled trout, got good conditions for it. Pretty light wind, fishing is on. Elmer's Island is kind of a, a strange place. It's not really considered a wildlife management area that the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries manages as such. Well, because of high use now, there's been some regulation changes over the year. There's a designated parking area, and you gotta do a good bit more walking than you did in the past because you can't drive on the beach. Having a comprehensive, you know, well-functioning ecosystem in that part of the state is so important to sportsmen because it's so close to two very, very popular jumping off spots and Louisiana's only inhabited barrier island, Grand Isle. You know, speckled trout's usually the main target, you know, but you, you always stumble upon some, some redfish, sometimes some jack crevels too. Those are always fun to fight. Oh, uh, this ain't a redfish. This is the kind of trout we're looking for this morning. Whatever I got right here has got some shoulders. <laughs> oh man. I'm kind of suspect to being a redfish though. That's the beauty about fishing this surf here is that you might catch a, a big bull redfish, you might catch a huge, you know, trophy sized speckled trout. It's really a good assortment of fish out here. The restoration of the Kamenata headlands of Fushaw and Elmer's Island, it was very important. It provides protection to the only road that comes in and out of Grand Isle. It provides protection to the camps and the homes that are on the mainland of the island. But the other thing is it protects the largest offshore oil and gas port in the world, you know, which is the port of Fushaw. And so without that protection, those areas just become more and more vulnerable to storms and to hurricanes. So it's critical to have those natural defenses in place. And what this investment in restoring that whole ecosystem has done is made sure that it's a place where folks can go either by boat and fish or walk out on the beach at Elmer's and fish for the next several decades to come. Coming up next, if you're new to the sport, what's the best way to get into fishing? We say, hire a guide. The very first thing the kids did when they got in the boat was hand me their phones and put them in the backpack. 
And, and what was fun today was if you notice the two boys who probably compete on just about everything uh, encourage one another. Hold up, that's a big boy. In 1967, Dutch Stogner realized his dream to run his own meat market. 50 years and three generations later, Double D and the Stogner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil has more garlic, onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. So for those who don't want to invest in a boat or don't want the hassle of owning a boat, and it can be a problem, uh, there's another option. You can fish with a professional guide. And the guides are not only there to help put you on the fish, but they're, they're there for as teachers. We, we work quite a bit with people that don't fish too much, and there's some coaching involved. They're certainly enthusiastic and they want to fish. So they'll pay attention to what you tell them, and you'll see a good effort and they'll try. You just work with them. I was trying to learn how to cast, and I casted it, and I started reeling it in. Then a fish caught on. Oh, that's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, over to your right. And it was, it was a big fight. It took a lot of effort to reel that big boy in. We got it. <laughs> Didn't you bet $20 on who's going to catch the first fish? I, I, you try to focus on, uh, at least me, I was trying to focus on where to aim and get it in the right spot, but it would just not even be close to the distance I wanted to go. So you gotta really get a ton of strength behind it. There we go, right here. We got it. Yeah. You really ate it. You like it. You like that shrimp? It was pretty easy coming you, back and then right when you I sprinkle came. Louisiana fish fry on that shrimp. <laughs> he sure went after it quick. He may not make the cut. I had done it once before, so I was able to sort of talk to them about the size of the boat, um, baiting a hook. Um, but the biggest thing was just reminding them the captain is the captain of the boat. You got to pay attention and, uh, and listen and respect the captain. And if you do so, you'll quickly be doing it on your own. And we always talk about the holy trinity of fishing, clean, moving water with bait in the area. Fish deep water, fish shallow water, fish into the wind, fish with the wind. And obviously, wherever you have success, you want to duplicate. I was definitely not expecting to throw um, our reels so close to the, the shoreline. That's where like all the fish were hanging out. And right when uh, it would go in, it was way bigger fish than I've ever caught before. So it's definitely a new experience. To see the excitement on their faces that, you know, to catch those redfish for the first time, they were amazed at the strength of the fish. Eventually, you know, my youngest, Oliver, he's like, I, I only want to catch a fish if I cast, if I also cast the hook. And he did. There's the whole mess. Look at that. The fight, <laughs> that was really hard. Strained my wrist a lot. Um, I was definitely not ready for that. Hold up. That's a big boy. <laughs> They're very strong. Those fish are ginormous. I mean, my little cousin caught a 27 inch, it was crazy. Well, he bit, but I didn't really know it. So he was going after the shrimp for a couple seconds and I started reeling in. He really put a fight, but I got him. I'd done a little bit of fishing on lakes before and it's like a lot different. Those fish are super small. So when you get out there, get on the waves and you get right up to the shore, you get your cast out. 
And, and what was fun today was if you notice the two boys who probably compete on just about everything uh, encourage one another. And, and I think that the older will remember that the younger caught the bigger fish. Um, but they both took pride in the number of fish they caught and how it happened. So yeah, the, the pictures will last forever, but to your point, the memories will last even longer. Oh, it's very rewarding. Take three young men out that have never caught a redfish, and now they've all caught redfish and looking forward to catching more. And I really think that this will not be the last rodeo for these guys. They will be back again and again because they enjoyed it so much, and they started it off right. And that really is the future of hunting and fishing. We've got to keep new people coming into the sport or they'll go away. Of course I'll be willing to come back and fish again, especially with Don, my, my partner in crime. We caught a ton of fish together. Ton of fun. It was a great day. It was um, such a unique experience for them and then therefore a unique experience for me because it's something we've never done before. Uh, it's something that's part of the culture uh, and the heritage of the area that we now have chosen to live in and to be able to share that with them and give them um, you know, an introduction to it was just a perfect, perfect day. Coming up next, we share a quick and easy recipe from Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Get them in a bigger bowl. Be careful because you don't want to mess up the crust on your shrimp, so don't mix them too much. Just enough to get a little bit of a coating on them. We love our children. We protect them. We guide them. We prepare them for life in the world. With all that we do, from deep in our hearts, we cannot control all things. Life-threatening illnesses and disabilities affect far too many of our children each year. While we cannot change the circumstance, we can make dreams come true. Dreams to provide hope, to provide spiritual healing and strength, to provide moments of happiness and relief in the hardest of times. We can give a glimmer of light and hope in a time of darkness and despair. Join huntofalifetime.org to help make dreams come true, to provide hope for children with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Hunt of a Lifetime is a nonprofit organization fulfilling dreams for hunting and fishing trips to youth 21 and under with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Visit huntofalifetime.org to learn how you can make a difference. Welcome to Bayou Wild. We're in the kitchen today making a recipe that you've probably seen at a lot of restaurants, but we're going to do the Louisiana fish fry version, bang bang shrimp with the air fryer and their air fryer fish fry. So we're going to start with a pound of shrimp. We've got some Louisiana shrimp here. We've got them peeled and deveined. Two eggs whipped up like you would for scrambled eggs with a tablespoon of water, a package of the fish fry, and a half a cup of flour mixed in with some Louisiana fish fry seasoning. But you can use salt and pepper if you don't have that. So the first step, take your shrimp. We used about a pound and you can use any size shrimp you want. We've got kind of a medium size here, about 20 count. And make sure that they're good and cleaned. You're going to toss them in the bag with your flour mixture. And this way you can kind of get them coated without making a huge mess in a bowl. Get your kids involved, shake them up, get all the seasoning on there. It's actually a really simple, easy recipe you could do for an appetizer or you could make it a meal. You might want a little more shrimp than that though, if you're gonna make it a meal. The next step is we're gonna batter up our shrimp. So we're gonna take our egg wash and take our shrimp, do it individually. Take your shrimp, get a little egg wash on them shake it off the excess and coat them real good in the fish fry seasoning. Louisiana fish fry has a whole line of air fryer products now that are a little different. They cook up a little differently than a traditional fish fry, so check them out. And the cool thing about this is not only is it healthier, but it only takes just a few minutes. So the great thing about the air fryer is traditionally when you're frying fish, it's kind of a big ordeal. You've got a lot of grease, makes a big mess. Air fryer, you can really cook for one person. So we've got our shrimp, we've got them dipped and battered, and they're ready to go in the air fryer. Okay. 
You're gonna wanna set your temperature to 400. I forgot to mention you wanna preheat it, but it really doesn't take very long. And set it for about four minutes. We're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we're gonna take out the, the shrimp and make our sauce. Want to be seen on a Bayou Wild episode? Sign up for our Cajun Invasion Wild Pheasant Hunt in the remote hills of South Dakota in mid-November. Bad River Bucks and Birds provides lodging, meals, transportation, dogs, and bird cleaning. Details at DonTheOutdoorsGuy.com. Welcome back. We're going to make the sauce for our bang bang shrimp while the shrimp are in the air fryer and it's super easy. Start off with a quarter cup of mayonnaise, any kind you like. Then you're going to get a quarter cup of sweet chili sauce. Put that in there. And two tablespoons of sriracha. Take your fork or any mixing utensil should turn kind of a light orangish color. Okay. Well, the air fryer says that our shrimp are done. So we're gonna take those out. Nice and crispy brown. All right, take your shrimp. And remember, shrimp don't take long to cook, so just enough to get them brown. Take your Thai chili glaze, your bang bang shrimp glaze. Get them in a bigger bowl. Be careful because you don't want to mess up the crust on your shrimp, so don't mix them too much. Just enough to get a little bit of a coating on them. This is great football food. This is great appetizers for dinner parties. Super simple. You can get all these fish fry products at your local grocery store. And there you have it. Better than restaurant bang bang shrimp. Summer is here. Do you have your star ticket? The tags are out. The fish are biting, and the CCA Star Tournament is underway. With over $500,000 in prizes, there's a category for everyone. And plenty of time to still get your ticket. Sign up today at CCAStar.com. Closed captioning made possible by Explore Kayak Adventure Company. Fishing, sightseeing, to photography tours, everything to make your paddling adventure happen. See Explore Kayak Adventure Company on Facebook and Instagram. Working on an offshore fishing boat, you get all types of people, from experienced anglers to first timers, and a lot of families as well. But some of my favorite trips are the ones where parents bring their children. So some of my most memorable customers and family groups are two little girls named Stella and Annie. And these two little girls spent the entire day, both Father's Day this year and last year, which was their first trip offshore, just having a blast. We used electric reels for them because they were too little, but it didn't really stop them. I mean, it really just got them inspired to want to fish. Of course, we went snapper fishing. Uh, Stella wanted to catch a shark. We caught a shark. They got to see dolphins up by the boat. And after their first trip, they decided to make it a annual event on Father's Day. So they came back this year and it was like they've done it a million times. They came back, they got on the boat, they ran around it like they owned the place, caught a million snappers, and their dad ended up catching a 185 pound swordfish. And a lot of people would be a little hesitant to have kids that age on the boat, but they were so well behaved and so great outdoors that they were some of the most memorable people I've ever had on the boat. 
and I look forward to them coming back next year. And I'm really excited for when they get old enough to actually reel in their own fish because right now they're just a little too tiny, but they definitely caught the bug. Folk singer Bob Dylan once wrote, the times, they are a changing. And despite all of society's changes, Mother Nature, she is a constant. She's our escape from the modern world. Her beauty is present in all parts of the globe. She's unique. Her wildlife is diverse. Yes, the times, they are changing. But Mother Nature is always open. 2020 has been a very strange year, and it's really taken a toll on a lot of activities. But the one thing that has remained constant is fishing. Treat yourself to the outdoors. Enjoy it with friends and family. Introduce her to someone new that might get hooked for the rest of their life something we've never done before. Uh, it's something that's part of the culture, uh, the heritage of the area that we now have chosen to live in. And to be able to share that with them and give them, um, you know, an introduction to it, it's just a perfect, perfect day. Enjoy the beauty that waits with each sunrise and sunset. Clear your mind, clear your body, learn something new, go on an adventure. As the times continue to change, our mother nature, she is waiting.